<laughs> gotcha! Thank you everybody for watching my last video and showing your support, giving me advice. The impossible has been achieved. Have a look at that beautiful ceremonial knife. Now, in my last video, I was calling the Sacred Harvester a dagger. Dagger is just an easier word to say instead of spitting out ceremonial knife. A lot of syllables there. Dagger, easy to say. But thank you all for pointing out that I was calling it a dagger. You probably thought that I was actually uh, not reforging. What's the word I'm looking for? Upgrading rare dagger items to try and get my sacred harvester. I wasn't doing that. I wasn't dropped on my head as a baby. I was upgrading my ceremonial knives <clears throat> trying to get my sacred harvester. But finally, boom. And sure enough, that's how I achieved, that's how I got it. I got it by upgrading a uh, rare cere ceremonial knife. And there she is, sacred harvester. It's a shitty one right now, but I'm going to definitely do a lot of farming, uh, a lot of Nephil Nephilim rift farming and try and get an ancient or if possible, a primal ancient. That'll be awesome. So Maybe one will drop with these run with these future runs. I don't know, but I've basically gone up now. This is how much of a difference it's made by whacking in Sacred Harvester and also Vile Hive. There, it's I've gone up from doing seventy greater rifts to eighty five comfortably without dying. So right now things are going very well, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep pumping up that greater rift difficulty. We'll be doing hundreds in no time, and also I can finally start working on some pretty cool legacy of nightmares builds so even though it's quite average at the moment at least i got it now i can finally do what i need to do we're almost set here i'll give you lovely ladies and gentlemen creepy people out there a quick sneak peek as to what we have equipped here i'm going to go through it all in detail once i perfect this build as you can see gems are being upgraded slowly i've got all the items i need to perfect this <laughs> Looking into Canite's Cube now, I'm using Wormwood right now, but I've been swapping this out with Furnace. For the time being, I really find Wormwood works a lot better. So this, what it does is it creates this radius here, and anything in this radius is actually immediately inflicted or plagued by our Locust Swarm. And what happens is, instead of casting it, watch this, it uses so much mana, three Three of these locust swarms will pretty much deplete your mana completely. But what what the actual radius here does is if you if you're around enemies, they're immediately affected by locust swarms. So super handy. And all you have to do is activate your piranhas, group up your enemies, make sure that you use your horrify, and then just wait around, make sure everyone's affected by it. Keep casting your haunt. And this way we don't have to worry about casting the Locust Swarm at all. You don't have to worry about it. Just keep casting Haunt, spamming the hell out of it. And then, boom, Sacred Harvester will kill everything in that area. Or if you're doing really high-end Greater Rifts, it'll at least do a hell of a lot of damage. And also, standing in the same spot, you also want to wait for your Endless Walk buff there. So as we're moving, you can see that we actually take less damage taken. But when we stand still, and as we're spamming Haunt there, it goes up to 100%, and then bang! If you just activate your Soul Harvest there, it does that much more damage. It's just multiplied big time. So good news, I finally got it. I just wanted to thank you all for the support because it was getting frustrating. I'm at four, I'm nearly at 600 Paragon levels and I never saw a Sacred Harvester. Are you kidding me? The only thing that I'm waiting for now is I haven't had much luck with rings. I haven't seen not one convention of elements yet, not one and not one unity. Usually I've got that many unity rings that I don't know what to do with them all. I have more than enough to, to equip my character plus my follower. Now, I don't know if the drop rate has dropped or if it's just the, you know, the random bullshit of me being so unlucky. I don't know, but I'm thinking of either using unity or convention of elements in the jewelry slot rather than Rachel's ring of larceny here, but and definitely going to keep Quetzalcoatl there. Quetzalcoatl? I don't know how you say it, but I'm looking at probably changing the ring and then we're well underway to actually doing a proper build video for this and I'll go through everything step by step for everybody. It's 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 a lot of fun. It's definitely a different kind of play style and I'm absolutely loving it right now. Not sick of it at all and I'm going to definitely use this for, for the, well, not the majority of the season, but for 
and at least until I figure out what sort of legacy of nightmares uh, builds I'm going to go go with, what sort of variations I'm going to do. So now it's just going to be a lot of Nephilim Rift farming, uh, upgrading my legendary gems and my regular gems, making sure everything's good there. And then I've got to get ancient items, obviously, to take advantage of the legacy of nightmares multipliers. So... Just wanted to make a quick video saying thank you everybody and I've got some good news. I got a special shout out to Rachel Wiggins who was actually in my group. She uh, she randomly popped up in my group when we were doing bounties and that is when I got my Sacred Harvester as I was upgrading my rare ceremonial knives. Shit is about to get real now. We're doing heaps of damage and the game has become that much more fun. It was a bit of a grind but the good news is we got it. Love you all. Don't forget to subscribe. Keep coming back to visit your creepy damn uncle.